Back in 1939 on the 30th of March, Heinkel test pilot Hans de Terl set an air speed record in a modified Heinkel HE-100. The aircraft was timed over a 3 km course and flew at an altitude of around 50 metres. Two runs were made in each direction and the average speed from the four runs of the 3 km course ended up being 746 km an hour. Hans unknowingly had just beaten the previous record, held by a prototype BF-109, by more than 135 km an hour. The Heinkel HE-100 remained the fastest aircraft in the world for about a month. On the 26th of April the same year, Fritz Wendel achieved 755 km an hour in a prototype Messerschmitt ME-209. However, the ME-209 was flown at an altitude of around 450 metres above sea level due to the landscape's topography, whereas the HE-100 was flown at around 50 metres ASL, so it can be argued that the ME-209 had an unfair advantage due to lower atmospheric density at the higher altitude. But anyway, moving on. This particular version is the Heinkel HE-100D1, the last of the HE-100 variants. It was equipped with 3 times 7.92mm MG-17 machine guns with 500 rounds of ammo each. It's powered by the same engine found in the Messerschmitt BF-109 a Daimler-Benz DB601. This 33.9 litre supercharged inverted V12 power source produces almost 1200 horsepower at 2500 RPM. This gives the HE100 a top speed greater than 650 km an hour and helps it reach a max altitude of around 11 km. The HE100D1 measures 8.2 metres long with a wingspan of 9.4 metres. Its max takeoff weight is 2.5 tonnes, and its max range is over 1,000 kilometres. Even though the Heinkel HE100 was incredibly fast and had an exceptional range, it was never actually ordered into production and only 25 HE100s were ever made. The reason for this is... unclear. Nevertheless, the Heinkel HE100 is still an incredible pre-war record breaker.